Welcome back. We are joined now by Marinda with Light Slotted Candles. And um, your fascination is with candles, of course. <laughs> and I, I love candles too. But my problem is that I cannot, I, I just can't keep them. You know, they, it seems like half of it goes away. And, you know, it, I go through candles quite a bit. So anyway, let's just start by, you know, talking about how you got started with this. Um, I got started because I've always loved candles. So, and I've burned a lot of them. So mm -hmm. hence, lights a lot of candles. Um, and a friend just said, why don't you start making them? So I was like, hmm, okay. So I did. So what's the key to that? What all do you blend together and how do you get different fragrances? Um, I have different waxes. They're all clean. I use um, cocoa apricot and a soy blend different times of season because one of them is softer than the other. Hmm. Um, and then I did start buying blends already made, but I just recently started blending my own scents. And I use cotton wicks and wood wicks because they're clean burning. So yeah, how does that work? How do you come up with the scent combinations? Um, usually, you know, if you buy you buy samples and then you test them out, and if you know you like them, you like them. If you don't, whatever. But you should just buy them and then blend them together, and then whatever works and whatever makes I think that's going to make somebody feel good. Mm -hmm. That's what I use. And you mentioned two different types of wicks. So, yep. and those are important to know if you if you're burning candles in your home. Yes, the cotton wicks uh, have a knitted core, so they burn slower. And then the wood wicks, you know, they burn clean if you take care of them. Like I tell everybody, you need. Yes, a wood. Like, how do you take care of them? Yes, yeah. you need a wood wick e or a wood a clipper, mm -hmm. a wick clipper, mm -hmm. because it just helps. You trim them to a quarter inch, and it helps with the wax burning ev evenly and it helps your candle last longer. And how often should you trim them? Every time before you light oh. it. Oh, okay. Every time. Even if you think it doesn't need it, it needs it. This is a lot calmer than what we just had with the whiskey. <laughs> which is like, I'm feeling all calm feel now. Let me get back to rocking in a minute. All right, so this one is so pretty though. I don't know if people can see it, but it's so almost too pretty to burn. Sometimes I add in bed, sometimes I don't. Just depends on, you know, that's lilac, and so I had to add that. And this is an outdoor one too? Yep, that's to keep citronella keep the mosquitoes away oh, to travel to. That is nice. All right, so well, how did you take your um, desire to make your own candles and turn it into a business? Um, I just started making them and giving them to friends and they were like, these are awesome. So I just... Away you went. Yep, yeah, yeah. I went. So I, as far as the process goes, how long does it take from beginning to end? Um, it, to make them, it's pretty quick, but they need to cure for at least 72 hours to two weeks, depending on what wax I use. And then the longer they cure, the better the scent throw is. Hmm. So, All right. And where can people find your products? They can find me on my website, which is lightslada.com, Facebook at lightslada, Instagram, same thing. All on right. All social media. And I have candles at Linden Sky Boutique. Oh, the new boutique in Medellia. Yep. yep. Is there a, a popular scent that, that you find? Um, a lot of the... Um, sweet scents, mm. they're popular, the ones that smell like food, stuff like oh. that. <laughs> Those drive me crazy. <laughs> Who doesn't smell like, oh, that makes me hungry, that's all that does. <laughs> all right, well, thanks so much for being here today. And we'll have more when we come back on Cato Living. <laughs>